It's the original, 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 original Batman. Original, 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 original Batman. Oh. It's fake kills. Aye. Put you on the Prada, say me feeling bad. I be looking like the nigga that to wish you hard. Them my girls, them are coming, them my looking bad. Man, I'm rolling with my niggas, that we moving mad. So me light on the pump, put it up till the morning. Them I know that your mind so they be stalling. And I be always there to answer whenever you're calling. And you always hold me down whenever it's boring. So welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and show you the final look of what my stores look like so let's start with the front door first of all oh lord of his mercy hey his body baby you hey his body baby you so this is one of the things that i wanted to do long time ago the concept was to move the door forward i really wanted to put two mannequins in the front door but we used to have a veranda which is now out of the way we don't have a veranda which is still fine but this is something that i had to change because this whole thing was just i mean this is a door that you pull down this is the handle here in order to close the store you have to pull this one down it's too heavy i can't do it now but basically the concept was to make this area look chic and i wanted to paint it pink another thing that i wanted to do is to be able to put the jewelry stands here so i have one on the right which has like bracelets or purses more bracelet and i need to add some additional stuff in it so if you go on the left side you're gonna see another jewelry stand which has like a set of necklaces some i mean things for the brides basically so this is what the front area really looks like and one thing that i also added i needed a ceiling oh i don't know how they call it in english but i know in french they call it lambri so I needed a ceiling, so this guy who is the carpenter made this thing work. I also had the electrician put one of the light fixtures here and another one here so that the light can be straight down to the mannequins. It's bright, it's airy, and you know, people can just walk in without hitting anything. So on this area, I mean nothing, I mean the whole thing didn't change much. Because I still had an entire rack of like wedding gowns. One thing that I did is that I switched some of the gowns here and there. So on this side, you have most of the mermaid gown and really long gown. It's a bad man to see. I mean, this is the white side when you come into the store. You have most of the short princess gowns. Those gowns don't really have a train. There's a reason why, because not all brides want the gown to have like a long train. And some of the brides are really petite. So these gowns were actually made for that purpose. Among all of these gowns, I want to say my favorite is probably this one, because it's a feather type of gown. And then it has like a, a little bit of sequence on it so beautiful i had a client yesterday who showed up and this is the gown that she tried on sure, this one was a photo shoot that i did in houston that was actually my first time going to that park to do the photo shoot so we went on there this is one of my mannequin one of my model her name is juliet yeah juliet but anyway Come on, guys. So, this is my cute sitting area. This is actually a catalog, guys. I have two of them. This is a catalog that I did in 2017 when I was launching the store. Those are some of my gowns. That's my sister. I mean, those are just different gowns. By the way, this is my sister, because that was my sister's wedding. Super comfortable. You really don't need a pillow, right? You can toss the pillow and still be super comfortable. By the end of the night, they be wanting more. Personally, places, them I want it more. My people, them, them I want it more. 
you know so guys let me show you one thing that i had to come up with so i had to change i had to put the light fixture here and this one is movable i just placed it i think the electrician installed it two days ago or so so what happened is that I had, I mean, I feel like I have so many lighting on here, but the reason is most of the brides look at themselves here. This is the mirror where they look at themselves. I had a light fixtures here, but I felt like it was too blurry. So whenever a bride would take a picture, it was just, I mean, the light was just too bright and it wasn't showing the details of the dress. So I removed this one. And I had to actually put it on here. I know it's going to be bright on you guys. But this is where I finally put it. Because I felt like, why not? It's better. But anyway, this is what the downstairs look like. It's airy. It has a lot of space. Before, this jewelry stand used to be here. Which was taking up a lot of the space. And the reason why... Is because we didn't really have I mean we're not using the veranda but now that we're using the veranda we had to push everything back and it's making this entire space look so airy so spacious I mean not so spacious you know if it was up to me it would be three times this size but I'm loving the bottom part I'm loving the fact that a bride can wear her big ball gown and walk in the center of the store and still feel beautiful so anyway let me take you guys upstairs because the upstairs is the part where you have the evening gowns the really cute pricey wedding gown and some of the little things that you guys can find so let's go upstairs Batman but you know the place them are wanting more them are wanting more see but you know the place then they feel me oh then they feel me oh See them girls just want to party. See them boys, them just want to party. In a yard, them are the party. So guys, okay, so we're here upstairs. I figured let me just fix this thing before I shoot upstairs. But anyway, let me show you what the upstairs look like. So it really didn't change much. One thing that I would tell you is that it's just a bit brighter than before. But upstairs is really the same. The same thing basically so i still have some gowns here but this one is one of my really special design one of my first ones actually um since 2016 i designed this gown and it's so beautiful and uh i mean look at that so if you move on here you have another set of evening gowns so the difference with before is that the downstairs i used to have a lot more gowns i mean a lot more evening gowns but now i've been thinking like no i feel like downstairs i wanted to have more bridal gowns because most of my brides stops downstairs right downstairs i already have a feeding room upstairs i did not have a feeding room so this is the system that my brain my smart brain has been thinking about so i bought this in 2019 the concept was it's actually a shower a shower thing i mean you place a curtain but anyway you get the concept so i bought it on amazon 2019 brought it to cameroon was supposed to install it never happened because i really didn't have somebody who knew how to install it at the time and i wasn't in cameroon anyway so i didn't really care much but this one the purpose of it was to have a small feeding room and i wanted them to not go downstairs i wanted the feeding to happen upstairs so that's why i created this entire thing so you can move it and you can close the other side as well this is my couch this is where i just dream of my next store scratch that but anyway we're still upstairs so this is a little couch that i had manufactured 2017 um 
the design is right there, basic, simple. And I also wanted it to be gray because I felt like gray works with white and pink. You get it, right? I don't know. I love this entire design. One thing though, I wish it was black women, but you know what? That's fine. The fact that they're black and white, I can I can live with that really. But it says fashion fits, only styles remain the same by Coco Chanel. And I just love it. I love it for now because I still haven't figured out what else to put on here. If you don't drink white wine, I don't know what else you want to drink. But occasionally when I have special guests, this is what happens. We sip some champagnes. And I say special guests because I can have everybody showing up and purchasing champagne and wine doesn't happen like that in cameroon otherwise many people are going to show up for nothing just for them to drink some drink we don't do that here we have water so if you guys want to hydrate yourself we have water <laughs> i'm just i'm just putting it out there i'm actually about because i'm so excited that the store is done and i was about to pop some champagne with my staff and my brother who's helping me film this video this is gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys really truly enjoy looking and seeing every bit and pieces of my store so let's go downstairs and i'm gonna see you guys later by the end of the day, she be wanting more. By the end of the night, they be wanting more. Busting out the place, them I want it more. My people, them, them I want.